and welcome. This is the intro episode of Subconscious Collage for Art Journaling Project. Um, this is very, very, very intro uh, episode where we're going to focus mainly on setting up environment for the project and getting into the right frame of mind. The project is meant to start in January 2016. So if this is the first clip you're watching, uh, you may want to watch the invite clip, which is on my YouTube channel, uh, Artlizing as well. itself is not about mixed media art techniques or art journaling techniques itself. It's about something that I'm truly passionate about, which is creative connection um, between our mind and soul that happens during the act of creating a art and working in our journals. So there won't be very much focus across the whole project on the techniques itself. However, in this intro video, um, I'm going to touch the subject of what kind of journals I use, um, what type of backgrounds you can create for your projects and how to prepare um, materials for the collage. Let's talk about the environment first. Uh, you do not need the very, very funky, expensive or God knows what um, kind of art studio. What you need is time and space. Uh, space could be your kitchen table, it could be your bedroom, wherever you feel comfortable working. Um, and time when you can focus on it and it's not time when you get interrupted. So I understand that for some people that could be very, very difficult. People have work, family and myself when I started my creative journey over two years ago I only had a tiny table which I shared with the uh, PC and a tiny basket with some inks and paints in it. So whatever you've got, you grab it and just give it a start. Um, don't let um, expectations of perfection or having some funky um, supplies stop you from having fun because every single step counts and it's better to make that step than just stay and don't move. The plan is that every single episode after this, this one is going to touch different emotion or subject that I want to focus on and I'll be showing you how I collage and build my art journal pages. Um, there'll be some PDF material as well with mindfulness exercises helping you to get into the right frame of mind. So if you're interested in that kind of um, material you need to sign up to my website uh, which is um, artlizing.com as this is the only way I can set up the list and send that material to all people. I just wanted to mention if you can see there in the background is my duck, Klaxon, which I uh, mentioned uh, before on the Facebook. It's, my fr it's a friend of mine, true love of 20 years together. So say hello to him as well. And let's get started. Okay, let's start with the journals. So I'm going to show you a few journals I'm using. Uh, here's the old book, one of my favorite ones and the oldest journal I'm using. Uh, some kind of book from 60s, 70s about gardening. Not very much of that book left now after my art journaling in it. But I like the books because they have different sizes, texture of the paper is slightly different. Um, there's also a post on my blog if you're interested in using books for art journaling titled um, I Destroy Books and I Love It. And here is another book, one of my favorite books, which I converted into art journal. Um, I keep some fragments of this book and quotes which I find very inspiring 
and that gives me some kind of start for our journaling. Uh, some leftovers, ink, spillages all over it for more inspiration for pages that I create. And here we've got the old uh, business diary, which again I converted into art journal. I struggled here with paper, uh, due to paper designed in first place for writing only. So if you decide to use one of that kind of um, books, you may want to glue pages together or use lots of uh, clay or white gesso before you start uh, journaling in it. And here is plain uh, moleskin small journal which again I glued pages together because it was quite heavy um, collage going into this journal as one of my first ones not very uh, big in size uh, but comes quite handy and here are two books plain ones again and uh, this is a vintage uh, photo album which I found in one of my car boots uh, hunts There are different shades of paper in that book, uh, which is really great if you use your art journal for drawing or painting. It gives you some kind of start. And there is some uh, handwriting there as well from probably 40, 60 years ago. Um, and here I'm just showing you how painting and drawing is going on in this one. And the last one, the yellow book, the big one, A4, that's watercolor book, which it's got really heavy paper in it so this one I mainly use for painting in my um, journal so that'll be for acrylics watercolors and a wet medium uh, because that paper can really well handle it inks as well um, I'm showing you some stains there and leftovers after inks so here we go those are my journals I've got uh, much more but um, use whatever you feel comfortable with Okay, so here we go with some ink background. I think ink backgrounds are one of my favorite ones and they're really easy um, to create. So I have some inks here, ink sprays. I create ink sprays myself very often, just by pure ink and mix it in a bottle. So I spray that one from a bottle or just um, pour it from a bottle. And the magic happens once you add water. So add water, spray water, uh, splatter some water, and dry between layers because that is um, protecting it from getting that muddy image when inks mix together um, too much. And here are some splatters of contrast color. This time it's pink, I'm drawing with it, and then again adding water, letting it go different directions, moving your journal, drying with baby wipe, and letting it go. Okay, here is the very simple but effective acrylic paint background. It's basically mixing different colors of paint on your pages and using gesso to create more um, light and then different mixing um, effects with the paint. As you can see here, I'm using credit cards as well to mix the paint. You don't forget that apart from brushes, there are so many different objects you can use to create different texture with paint. So there, there will be cards, you can use sticks, you can use your fingers, you can use a um, piece of paper or cardboard. So don't worry, um, just to try and experiment with, with things. Okay, so Jessa. Um, Jessa is the queen of art journaling. And I know many people agree that you are not able to create any page without Jessa. Um, with gesso, you can basically use that one as a ground for your page when you struggle with paper thickness or if it's vintage paper that's not able to take a uh, heavy medium, medium very well. But as you can see here, you can draw in a gesso, you can remove parts of the gesso uh, or you can use clay gesso as well.
Now we're going to talk about cutouts uh, for collage now, which seems to be the most important bit really in um, collaging process. So we've got the backgrounds, we have journals, and now is the bit where we can't start, start gluing stuff in, in it. Now, um, magazines, images from magazines, that's the one and main source of um, images for subconscious art a journaling uh, project. And the most important thing is, I don't want anyone to have pre-cut out, to have images prepared in advance, because that's not what it's all about. It's all about randomness. It's about messages appearing, messages that we don't expect. So if we have images prepared in advance, we're kind of not on the same route. We're killing the process of being spontaneous. I'm so spontaneous that even my magazines are kind of totally disorganized. This is my magazine stash. And when I collage, what I do, I just randomly pick up magazine and then I flick through the pages and something will appear, something will um, attract my mind, something seems more important. That's all what the project is about and we'll be going through that in every single episode. Definitely don't want you to have any uh, prepared images that's going into your collage project, so you don't prepare them in advance. No, you do not. Just have a stash of magazines, that's it. No extra preparation. So that's been the episode uh, one, which is the intro to the project. So I hope it did help you out um, in terms of getting ready for subconscious art uh, journaling and collaging in your art journal. Uh, I'll be also opening the uh, private closed Facebook group for people who are willing to share their work. It's a safe environment. There is no judgment. It's just for pure uh, sharing of what we all do. And the next episode will be focusing on fear. I'm scared already. See you there.